Hey there everybody, Joe here from the Ungodly Geeks, bringing you Crit Fail, an Ungodly Geeks side project. This is our D&D podcast we've been talking about doing for a while, and this past week we decided to uh, run a 5th edition game, and Jake was our DM, and we went ahead and recorded it. I am going to warn you that the editing is kind of rough. We don't have our normal equipment since our mixer board died. So we went ahead and used my Blue Yeti mic set up in the middle of the room and tried our best to record all the audio. Uh, so things might be a little too quiet at times, things might get a little too loud, but I did my best to clean it up. As, so I really hope you guys are able to enjoy it. For uh, I think that's it though. I'm going to go ahead, sign off here, roll our normal intro. So hope you guys enjoy. Bye! <laughs> Luke was his duo, and uh, Danny just popped in to make fun of him. We were trying to get Danny to play. I was I was gonna tell him we had won that match. Just start faking like Jack, two guys are left. I got one. The other one's dead. All right, all right, get? we did it. Like just we start did it. going like like the whole time, like eight times. You know, oh, we got it. Oh, Jake, only fifteen more. Oh, Twelve more. Come on, Jake, we can do this. Like <laughs> just fake it the whole time. Yeah. Time. Yep. Make it to make it. Fake it so till you make it. That was the, uh, that was the spin only thing I needed. Spin the win. Clarification on the Wait, why are we spinning the win? I forgot to go for I don't it. know. Garen does it. All right. Let's do it. I say roll the win. It's D&D. Oh, yeah. There's my cleric. It's Durn Durn. Dur- 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 why is your cleric a bony man? <laughs> no, okay, so the um, this is, this my ability that something. makes it so when I roll a D, uh, when I roll a one, Pizza my monster. attack mm-hmm. with a two-handed weapon, I can do it. What does that... Wait, 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 wait. Say, I was thinking about something else Sorry. while I'm looking at you. Say that one more time. So, my paladin ability, it says uh, I like heavy weapons. So, I roll... Uh, I re-roll once on damage. Your mom loves um, heavy weapons. Does that oh, mean my. on my D6, e- each D6? Yes. Because I roll two D6. Yes. <laughs> yes. Either, if either one rolls a one or, uh, one or a two. One or two. Yeah. You is. never know. She just might. Because I was actually... Uh, when I was looking at that, I was like... In that case, I might want to go with uh, an axe that it doesn't have <laughs> instead of the, instead of the 2D6. Yeah. Like, if that's the case, I'll keep the great sword. Just yeah. I, don't, I didn't see if he has a weapon, the Platinum Dragon, like if they have a weapon for their religion. I don't... I believe they use the same thing that most religions do. I think they use just maces or... You know, well, I mean, they're, or, they're, or, they're, they're all different. Yeah, that's but uh, like the, the there's a there's two religions. One of them is like the hammer of such and such, the hammer of cord, probably. And then there's the there's another religion that is like the sort of or the uh, the, the, the that's the, that's the, that was like I was like oh yeah the axe and I was like well that kind of those religions have it set. All right, but then there's a pretty small minutes. orb. All right, Jack, yeah. you're doing good, Jack. Even though we haven't done anything, I'm yet. doing good. Here we go. Like I said, the story I'm not worried about is the encounters I'm worried about. Because without a monster manual to properly balance the encounters, either you guys are going to train roll over everything, or I'm going to kill you all on, a, on like a medium level encounter. I mean, it, it, you guys have two people capable of healing, though, so I'm really not too worried three about people, it. Three people, level 10, two level 9s, we're pretty beastly. Yeah. So, like, I mean, as long as you're not coming up with some really tough shit. Or the the big thing would be if you've chosen things that would take preparation, like if you threw up a, threw us up against like four fire fire giants. Oh yeah, no, would I be, would not do that. You, you need you like have to. Have I mean, I I will. I mean, like I told, I forget which one of you I told. It was one of you two. But most of the encounters that I have prepared, most of them can be circumvented. There's some of them that can't, but it it'll just all depend on your roles. That's what she said. Jake, I want to like applaud you for actually spelling rogue right. Thank you. I You're like, welcome. Used to do that. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I always spell it wrong. Listen, I refuse. That's why when I write like rogue on something, I write R G. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone always one more. I, every time I see it pop up on the internet, it's always rouge. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, guys, it's it's not a shade of red. It, it's a it's a rogue. It's a it's not a. He, he makes a character. Red. That's true. <laughs> you can stab things in the taint and they bleed. Mm-hmm. So, rogue. <laughs>
R O G. So if I'm if I'm correct, um, the challenge no. rating of creatures is it supposed to equal the total level of the party? For so that's uh, something that I've kind of been confused on. Apparently, it's supposed to be the average level of characters in the party. Which so a nine. CR ten would be uh, if, something if, for us. Like we could take a CR ten. Um, we could take probably like a CR ten and like a couple CR. I mean, if if it, if it goes through an encounter and I see that you guys are just getting crushed and have no chance of beating anything, then I will dumb it down. Like, yeah, you can, there's ways you can do it. Like, yeah. like a, a party okay. should be able to punch above their weight class depending on how well they're equipped. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty because well that, that when you calculate CR, you usually don't that's take that into effect. Yeah. But if you do, you can be way that. over. Like, that's a good the, thing. The game I played, my first campaign we played in, like I told you, we ended up having way too much gold. <laughs> so we were punching four or five CR above our weight class. Yeah. And we were destroying things that should have been challenging. I'm, I'm literally Since just like... all had, like, plus four weapons at level eight. <laughs> we had gear that we should not have had, and the GMs were... Con- the GM was con- contemplating taking it away. So we just leveled up really fast. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me just look up one more thing. All right. Ready. What are we doing? We're about to start. All right. I, I mean, I, I figured that. It's just... Just got you. I've already character. started it. Got your character in my story. story. You got your character. Personality. Character voices, everybody. Character voices. Mine's yes. not very... Mine's kind of subtle. He just, he just develops okay. a sort of... Accent. I'm the healer. <laughs> you can be the cleric. <laughs> You're the cleric. I'm the cleric. <laughs> I will save you. <laughs> oh, that's what I need to pull. Uh, I did not pull up. It's all spells. around. Oh, shit, I don't even know what spells I'm going to use. That's a pop. pop yeah, that's word. something you guys will probably need to look up. Johnny, the, the spells I wrote down, if you look on your spell sheet, those are the... Uh, it's the, the second or third page. Yeah. Those spells, these are. this is how many of each level spell you get per day, um, or per long rest. I only wrote down the ones that you get for your aspect, because you're a trickster cleric. So you get certain spells that only trickster clerics get. Um, you probably it'd probably be wise to look up a a spell, a a spell list. Who tricks? I think I think your uh, I'm your player's handbook actually will have it will have cleric like a cleric spell list in here somewhere. Good. Yeah, I think well, this is. What did, you, what did you make me again? Arcane trickster. You're an arcane trickster, yeah. Right. So if you need if you need the five e book to look up what anything that you have does, of course, that's why I brought this one for extra. So I got three cantrips and two first level spells. No, you get four first level spells and two second level spells, and you can pick anything from the illusion or evocation schools, I do believe. So I can use each one of these four times a day. What the fuck am I? If you at? want. Like you can, if you want, no, if you um, want to put yourself in four separate disguises in one day, yes, you could do that. Or so you know, course. or you can, um, you know, what, here, I'll write down, I'll write down the names of the important healing spells. Cure, cure, cure. It takes four times longer to convey such a message than it does to speak the same idea plainly. Mm-hmm. No, no, that's well, just thieves can't. Thieves can't is awesome, man. Yeah, he's a member. He's a member of the class, which is, uh, you know. Something that may or may not come into play if you want. No, not the club. Not that cool. Uh, Oh, wow, they have an assassin class. Yep. Everybody needs an assassin class. Assassin. Assassin. Um, What is the level four? Because it's it's light, moderate, critical. What's the... Oh, uh, and also... this system, I think it's... uh, And also, if they... uh, Pure greater... Yeah. Sure. Or first level um, two, if if they if level. any if any spells have components or anything like that, don't worry about that. Like you, uh, yeah, you must like, the one that would worry. like yeah, like you must have like the dirt of a virgin or something like that, and then like three freaking vines dirt from a, a virgin, three vines from a thunderstruck tree to cast the spell. No. So I gotta choose no. from a wizard level. Or yeah, wizard wizard, spell. wizard spells. Yeah. Right here, Johnny, on page uh, 207. No spells? Yeah. Because yeah, it'll say cleric spells, and then it'll divide them up by level. And if you need uh, if you need clarification on any of the spells, you can ask me. Odds are good. I, I probably know what it does. Sure, I'm sending you this on Discord. Because Pathfinder I, has a bunch of weird spells. Apparently, I have a telegram on here. Oh, okay. 
It's two wounds. We're gonna be in the campaign fast fighter thing. Yeah. Nice. Oh, so you cool. get you get prayer you get prayer of healing at second level. Okay, so what am I looking under? Probably you want to go to core. core. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The basic rules is and useless. And the player's handbook. Yep. All right. <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't need to write these down. Like you, did you see down there on the where it says cleric spells, and then mm-hmm. it starts listing them off. Mm-hmm. You can choose from any of these spells and cast like like you could cast any one of those first level spells four times a day. Four see what I mean? Animate the dead. You yeah, anim- yeah, you can animate that if you really want. Dude, and your spell save DC is like insanely high. I mean, granted you're level nine, but like a sixteen for a for a, a, a wisdom save. Oh, hey guys, pizza, pizza. pizza. Yeah, go get the pizza. Get the pizza. Here. Did I take this from you too? Yeah. Okay. You took his thing. How dare you? Yeah. Right. How dare you take his thing? <laughs> CDs. What's the CDs? Oh, bastard. Do you need... Oh, you've got a computer. I was going to say, do you need this for... All right, Where's all the spells at? Um, I, you just had the page pulled up. Page but the description of them. There's no description of them. You'll have to like look up each spell individually. Or ask me what it does. Uh, Go to page... Uh, you're looking at... Clarity he's, spells? Yeah, yeah, he's looking at 205. Okay, yeah. 207 oh. is the big list of them individually. No, and then, good. if you want to find the spell, start at page oh, two eleven, oh. and then go alphabetically to find the description of the spell. See, yeah, you got to go to two eleven to find the spell descriptions. Yeah, yeah. It's like, get it. So and don't and don't worry about the components when you get to it. Like, it's gonna say you need a drop of blood, a piece of flesh, and a pinch of bone dust to animate dead. No, you know, we're not. Doing that. We'll fuck that. I, I can love get that. One thing that I do. But I think it's a little bit broken. Paladin Smite does not rely on the enemy being evil anymore. Nope. And, which and is funny do you want to know the best part about Divine Smite? You can choose which attack it goes on. So if you're attacking twice, you can wait and then see if you get a critical. Like if you roll twi- like if you roll three attacks and one of them is a critical, you can choose to put the Divine Smite on the critical. Place. And then all the Divine Smite damage gets doubled. I, I almost texted you like, Jay, can I be 11? Because at 11 it becomes 3d8. <laughs> I know. I, I that's like, why I cut it off. Well, because that's fine. why, because of the divisions of, yeah. like, we've talked about was kind of ridiculous how, you know, like, 10 is the cutoff for mid-level characters. Once you hit 11, you start to get a lot of really OP stuff. And then I would have had to just throw, like, you, well, you six beholders at you. GM, being a new GM, it gets difficult to run a higher level. Yeah, so I figured, I figured 10 was a really good cutoff for you. because you're the, and easier at the same time. Because I you suppose. can start throwing the party against big bad evil guys mm-hmm. and build up a dungeon like you could run through and just fucking go through a, a, a monster menu and be like, oh, they have two mummies. Oh, hey, here, fucking they have a beholder. Hey, a white dragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, a, like a, a fucking, um, what's one of the goddamn ages? I can't remember. Okay, young, whatever, a fucking middle aged, whatever, whatever they get to be large. Which for whites is they, they're pretty old. Oh yeah, because they're yeah. But, I yeah. mean, I didn't I didn't, like I didn't put any undead. I didn't put any undead in here or any ghosts, yeah. just because they can be really really hard to balance because of like it's hard to balance an encounter because like wraiths can possess a party member. Yeah, they, yeah, they can be annoying. You I know, mean, like, like undead smashing is, is great though. I, oh I yeah, very like, good at that. Yeah, you guys can just go kill twenty zombies. They each have yeah. CR like one fourth. So well, yeah, you can find better undead. Oh, there's just an undead. That is just, it's nasty. I think the CR is something like 8 or 10, maybe mm-hmm. higher. What it is, is it's a animated body that has like this worm thing inside of it that is an undead aberration mm-hmm. that has possessed the body that when it attacks, it can latch onto a living being and then turn them into a, like a numb dead and control them. It's hor- <laughs> they're, they're horrifying. That's they're, amazing. They're like legit, like they should, like, I don't know if they came out of Ravenloft, which is the horror setting for D&D, mm-hmm. uh, but they're a legit horror creature. They We, we had a joke about, uh, there's the old saying for role-playing games. You never mess with a duck in a dungeon. Right? So if you see the shining great sword, hanging on the wall that's you know just sitting there uh it's not a good idea to go and pick it up Mm -hmm. but uh so we had a room that had a mallard picture above it 
And what did we do? Yeah. We opened up and looked through the room, and there was just an entire oh. army of Drogar no, and a giant chest behind them. <laughs> <laughs> and we just slowly <laughs> shut the door and continued yeah. on. Yeah, and we're, 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 we're like, we're, we're going to come back here when we're level 15. There's one more thing I need to pull up. Even though I highly doubt you guys are actually, I don't think this will come into play. But just in case it does. But the ones that do pull up, Searing Smite, Thunderous Smite, and Wrathful Smite. Mm-hmm. All sound mm-hmm. like awesome spells. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That sound like some good fountain spells. Salting rain. Second level. If uh, yeah, if Joe gets. Oh no, he doesn't <coughs> get invocation spells, does he? I don't think so. Joe's invocation. not in the room right now, but this is a message to Joe when he goes back over this. But what? Uh, the message is. Okay. Fat bitches. <laughs> okay. All right. That's good. Very good, Johnny. Very good. You think he's gonna be going over it? <laughs> like, good job. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to change a couple of the encounters. That's okay. It's all right. Let's be that are cool. They're the hottest dicks. One of those. We got a. Okay. How do we meet? Meat over some meat. Maybe in a bar. That's usually how you meet. No. No, 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 no you've no. all been. No, you've all been. Yeah, Hogwarts. Yes. <laughs> we meet at Hogwarts. I love Paladin spells because they're the kind of spells where, like, a level one spell, it's like the flavor text is cast this as a higher level spell and just start adding on fucking damage. So if I really hate something, and be like, I'm casting this. Yeah, you can like, yeah, you can level three at like fifth level, and then it's like two d eight plus one d eight for every extra level that you're casting. So plus this one would be a plus d six per level, except uh, every turn after that, the creature that I've hit with it has to make a Constitution saving throw, or it takes those d six again of fire damage. Mm, nice. Yeah, that is good. Oh, what what is is mending what I think it is. I think mending is like healing, but for not living things. No, mending is for fixing things. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Fixing broken things. We had to mend the boat. I have like to, Bob the Builder. I have to mend Jake's broken heart. Thunderous. You have a broken heart? Did Kelsey break up with you? No, shut up, stupid. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Shh, he doesn't know. What is Blade Ward? All these, like, it's a spell list, but it doesn't tell me what any of them do. Yeah, uh, if going. you pull up the book, it's yeah. easier, because you can go back and forth. Is the book? Yeah, it's just the book. So, if you pull up the um, bookmarks? I don't think I can pull up the bookmarks in Edge. Oh, well, that's fine. I don't know, I've never tried. <laughs> I can have it read it to me. Yeah, I'll fix it. I mean, I've got a spell list over here, if you need me to look it up. I no, 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 I'll just, uh, I'll just open it a second time. And then just, uh, oh, 211. Okay. <laughs> I want my smite to be awesome. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna fuck with you guys so hard. Uh, even though you're all really like. Uh... Oh man, that's so funny. Oh, all right. Watch out, buddy. Quiet. <laughs> yeah, I did get really fucking quiet. I'm, I'm ready to go whenever you guys are done figuring out everything that you need to do. I'm just trying to think of, like, envision you preparing this or listening to this again. I just have a strong feeling that my character halfway through this is going to go. Fuck fairies. Wow. Press the digitation. You said fuck fairies. (laughs) That's a very high possibility. (laughs) Oh my. Oh god. Except you have no way out, because it's your order that's sending you on on this mission, so Great. My character means I don't have to give your character a stroke like I was planning to do if you tried to turn around and leave the village. Yeah, no, he won't. Amy's his honor would say he's got to try and finish this. Well, you're, I mean, you're going to feel... I have a feeling this spell is going to be useful. 
Zone of Motherfucking Truth. Zone of Truth is a great spell. U-T-H. That is probably a user. Okay, and uh, two third level spells. Well, per day. Well, you're, like I said, you're going to feel really, really, like, bound to do something because depending on whether or not you find what happened to Puddle... Oh yeah, like Puddle, when we find Puddle, out about that, my Puddle, character's not. Puddle is a it. yeah, she's a monk. She had just joined the uh, the Platinum Dragon, and the, this and it was her first mission. I feel like mending is gonna help us a bit, so I'm gonna take it as a cantrip. Mending is a perfectly fine cantrip. Depending on just, just, just take it. Just remember, yeah. if you didn't, I'm just making sure. Because it's, like, it's one of the most overlooked useful skills in d um, I'm taking Minor Illusion, Mending, and I guess Prestigitation as a Yeah, it's, it's a very good idea. All right. Just as a suggestion. I, I don't remember many of the other ones, but that's the one that I've seen people get the most use out of. I mean, you can do a bunch of random silly shit. Especially when you're around villagers that, while they live in a magic world of magical magicness, uh, <laughs> Prestigitation <laughs> still impresses stupid villagers right? for some reason. I mean, Zul is going to be, like, the only one of you guys that is even going to be remotely liked. I'm you are going to be hated. Like, oh, for this place? Yeah, because you're going you're going to the high elven city. They already hate outsiders. I made, oh, really? I made Zul specifically an elf so yeah. that they let you in the city. Because if you were all outsiders, they wouldn't let you in. Oh, well, he's an elf mechanically anyway. I was going to say, well, when you said village before, I didn't know where the high elven bullshit is. Oh, I'm no, glad you, I wasn't playing. I'm not a dwarven paladin. Though. Yeah. Uh, but oh, I was that would have gone over fantastically. I was thinking of taking the background. I would have been so racist to you. When you said you. village. <laughs> oh, when it, I met, and I would have been, oh, you fucking elf monster. Oh, my God. You'd have gotten <laughs> murdered by the citizens of the been, city. I would have been dead in half an hour. <laughs> just, like, just bodies of dead elves and a dead dwarf. Dude, but, uh, magic missile. I was thinking of taking smell, I think something that's like... Uh, Room, uh, rustic missile. hero or something like that. Yeah, uh, and then you said village, and I was like, oh yeah, that'd be great, but maybe a little bit too good because it literally the whole background is uh, villagers know me and they help me. So it would have been like, how much of story do you have? Yeah, yeah. my character walks up and asks them. <laughs> they tell me. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> ruined everything. This doesn't see. This doesn't categorize them by whether it's a wizard spell. Well, see, see, like I said, I've already thought about all that. No, wait, I'm looking. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Dude, leave me alone. I'm tired. No, you're fine. I was gonna. I'm gonna looking fun. at the wizard spell list. Yep. Right, so I'm, gonna t- I'm gonna take magic missile. Magic missile. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, it's cool. uh, it's your, uh, how? What's the highest level spell you get? Two. Two. Okay. I get two level twos. Okay, so you want magic before, let's see. It has to be from the wizard uh, spell list. Silent image is probably something I should take. It is what I think it is. Yeah. I think silent image is actually pretty useful. Um, um, it, is de- it is depending on... Well, I mean... First si- level just- illusion. You create the image of an object, creature, or some other visible phenomenon that is no longer than a 15-foot cube. The image appears at a spot within range and lasts for the duration... It's purely visual, isn't accompanied by sound, smell, or other. Yeah, I, w- I will let you know that anything that like perceives it gets to make a saving throw to see if they yes. recognize that it's an illusion. You can also throw up with that, um, like yeah, presentation, and then you can make it have sound because the illusion itself does not have sound. What level is that? Well, yeah, that's that yeah, that would be like one of those like as an action cast silent image, and then as a bonus action prestigitation. Because I think you keep, you, I think you yeah. keep silent image going. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, like the image will keep going no matter what. Like even if something walks up and hits it, it'll keep going. There's a, a series uh, of D and D videos online that specifically the guys talks about Fifth Ed mm-hmm. uh, games that he's played, and one of them I, I don't remember the whole thing, but I know they used silent image plus prestigitation to like fool a shit ton of goblins that had them dead their lance with arrows mm. and then they like were able to escape or massacre the goblins I don't remember which yeah but yeah it's a great spell makes yeah. stupid makes stupid things uh, but yeah for level 2 spells um, blur mirror image melf's acid arrow these are all good mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but there's other stuff like invisibility hold person although you don't need hold person I have it yeah no I'm <laughs> totally taking invisibility though yeah Oh, I gotta look up Misty Step and wonder what that spell does. Ooh. You said Misty nice. Step? That's yeah. kind of nice. It lets you, you can, it doubles your movement speed as you can use it as a bonus action. You can, you get automatic disengage from combat yeah. because you disappear and then appear again. Oh, uh, Jesus. Teleports 30 feet. 
to an unoccupied space mm -hmm. where you can see. Mm -hmm. Instantaneous. That's nice. It doesn't say anything about movement speed. Comprehend language. Uh, that's probably no. That's probably a. Uh, well, if you if you misty step out of combat with a player. Yeah. They don't get an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah, no, it's because it's instantaneous. Yeah. It's just boop. Yeah, it's just boop, now you're 30 feet away. Yeah. Cool. And the cast of time is a bonus action. It's you know, like, there are uh, bookmarks available on there. Nice. Or no, notes. Notes. Yes. Yeah. Spell can't affect a target that has zero. Of That's errata, which is cool that they included that. Right. Because there's like, um, in, if you go to the weapons list mm -hmm. in it, and, um, unarmed strike is listed as a weapon, and the errata just <laughs> says unarmed strike should not be on the weapon you're list. Guard. Yeah, you're the change bringer. The change. Or I think that's what her name is. Hang on. Loser. Let me, let me I, don't like, I don't like that. That, that sounds. You are. Yeah. You you're a god of the change bringer. Uh, cleric of. I'm not worried about alignment or domain. She's chaotic good, so I don't really care. Yeah, yeah. but oh she, shit! Clerics but her domain is trickery, and she's right. like she literally is like. <laughs> <laughs> like this is the closest thing to like favorite spells. What you would want from a changeling esque character? And Apparently, Luke thinking. said that they do have a changeling thing online, but I didn't look. I just yeah. gave you the stats of a human, and then you can be a changeling because I don't care. Um, there you, there he thinks he's a changeling. Uh, morph. Hold on. He no, thinks he's a changeling. I mean, I mean, you're literally, literally at, at very early. You're going to walk into like. You're going to walk into the halls of the Platinum Dragon, and the High Exarch is just going to look at you and just go, "Do you think I'm an idiot?" Jesus Christ! <laughs> Scorching Ray is beastly. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Scorching Ray is a hell of a spell. You're going to say, "Get out," or let's take shots. <laughs> I really want, I really want like somebody to be an asshole and just try to shoot the High Exarch. <laughs> that reminds, that, that that reminded me. I Detect had a thought evil. this like, morning. Kills is evil. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a campaign out for us when like, I get the time. And it's going to be real intricate and deep. Zul's going to be like the NPC that travels with you guys to keep you alive because he's going to be something like this, real powerful. Um, one of the things I was thinking when you guys get into a battle, Zul's just going to walk off. And, like, you're gonna Sit down, start eating Popeyes. Yeah, like, like, you're going to see him like standing over there and like Chunt's going to be there and they're just going to be drinking meat together while you guys fight. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> You're like every, like in the background, you're just eating drinks like, oh, Chet, how are you? Ah, we're dying! Just in the background, he's like, yeah, doing good. We should probably save them, guys. Don't worry, guys, you get this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then, then he'll enter battle and do what? I literally wrote a care. I literally, I'm not kidding, because I was so, like, hilariously worried, because I was warned from all the things you've done to your previous DMs that you might try to mess with my game. So I literally went... Oh, I'm not, I'm not the one who messes with games. I literally went far enough to what write, like... What do you think like, about mage armor? So uh, it's like it's, when you need AC. But like, I, I, I literally went AC. far enough. AC is fifteen. To where I wrote out a whole bunch know. of OP yeah, shit. Yeah, I have more spell for that. Too. I wrote a I bunch of. I made a character one. sheet for yeah, the high exarch. In case yeah. one of you wants Just to get smart and try to shoot the high exarch. I know that. I'm, I. will be like, yes, I am a level twenty paladin. Let's go. I learned from someone that. Liked messing with GMs, but not like, oh, I'm going to fuck up your whole plot mm -hmm. by, uh, you know, I'm going to cut, oh, I just wipe out the village or anything stupid like that. It would be things where it's like, okay, 13 plus, it's a we've got to, you know, get these people on our side. Don't give me two extra decks. Uh, you know, I go to the next town over, mm -hmm. I buy up uh, every, uh, all of their mead. I, I, I don't have armor, do I? I buy... Yeah, you have armor. You have armor. simple leather armor. Oh, okay. yeah. I just didn't like, write it down because I didn't know. I, I, I gave you an AC. Like, um, me and Luke talked about what would be a good AC, because he was just like, don't pull numbers out of your ass. It'll end up being really awkward. So I was yeah. like, okay. So I just gave you... You can have, like, I can't whatever use armor. Ma I can't use mage armor. Oh, you can't use this? Oh, because you're wearing armor. Yeah, yeah you have to... It, it specifically says creature who isn't wearing armor. Yeah, yeah. monks and goliaths are, like, really the only ones that... Our, so there's nobody in our party that's not wearing armor, so... Yeah. I might want to go for I mean, goliaths will wear armor, unless they're a monk. Some goliaths don't. Well, because they're idiots. I mean, they're barbarians. Yeah, barbarians. Yeah, I it's guess not, I should. I guess I should have said barbarian, it's, not Goliath. Yeah, it depends what they are. But barbarians can't cast mage <laughs> armor now, can they? they unless they took a couple levels of. Uh, God, that <laughs> would be oh. amazing. Okay, I'll take shield. That sort of thing. Shield is See, nice. There you go. Shield just gives you that bonus AC. I Plus really five bonus want, AC. Mm -hmm. I really, yeah. really want like. <laughs> she's like I yeah. really want a fucking a level ten barbarian and a level ten mage. <laughs> Like, he just couldn't decide what he wanted to do. He just gets really... Like, if a spell cast fails, he just rages. Rages oh, and smash. Rage right, I'm gonna and grab smash. pizza cast. Alright. Alright. 
I've thought about. Uh, I, I thought about like I wanted. To, I want to build a character at some point that has like one level of sorcerer and then you know nine levels of barbarian, mm-hmm. so that the only thing he can really do is cast cantrips. <laughs> So the barbarian like entertains himself by like creating flowers and shit. Like, oh, look at oh, my God. <laughs> That's okay. Matt Mercer said in a bunch of interviews that the first character he ever made was a dwarven uh it was in uh third edition and that it was I a can... that it was a dwarven battle mage. Yeah. And he said it was the worst idea he'd ever done because he did wasn't high enough in mage to use any good spells and his because he was a mage and put all his points into intellect, his like chance to hit was like plus one. So he never hit his he didn't have any useful spells and couldn't hit anything with his sword. <laughs> he was like so uh he was like, So you know how he died? We were scaling a tower. I tried to jump on a griffin from a collapsing tower. And the DM literally was like, Are you sure if you you know it's it's like a thousand a foot fall off of a cliff. Well, and he was like, I'm doing it. Sixes. He was like, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm going for it. All right. That was stupid. <laughs> All right. Let me eat a piece of pizza. Uh, so we're starting at level nine? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. You two are. Who's level ten? Because he's a power out of the order. Mm-hmm. And I made my character myself. That Fuck your god. As long as you don't go to level eleven, I don't care. No. And you all won't be leveling. I'm using the... It's, not, it's, just, it's a one-shot, so yeah. it's what level your characters are going to be. Only give XP after a mission, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Because it's... Like, once, once the party... Up mid mid games. Yeah, like, like once a party hits, like, a certain storyline arc, or, you know, at the end of a session or something. Ooh. Finish the Shit. Just, yeah. My god. Fuck your god. In the ass. Johnny, shut up. My god. Well, fuck your god. In the mouth. You can, Zul can choose to be, to serve a god, or he doesn't have to. It, I mean, obviously being a rogue religion is not really a huge thing for you. I'm so. going to choose Detect Magic as my last level one spell. Because I feel like that might come in handy. That's going to be good. Alright, so my, one of my level two spells, I was already going to choose um, Invisibility. Because it helps the stabby taint stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's okay. This is how Jake plays D and D. He just has seven tabs open for every type of of, uh, of encounter you guys might run into. <laughs> it still has the book open in front of him, and, and has then, the book open. Okay, I need another level two spell. Wizard, locate object. There you go. Or scorching ray. <laughs> let me let's, let's see. Let's uh, let's go more utility. Or C, Invisibility. Phantasmal Force. Suggestion. Mm. Let's see. That's the annoying thing with wizards. And they just know the spells they know. My pal, and then I can uh, take a short rest and re get my spells. Because I can only have eight prepared a day. Mm-hmm. But um, I can basically choose whatever eight I want from the list. Right. Plus I have automatically prepared my uh, oath spells, but they still would count against my hey, spells per day. Reusable, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Mm, I think you get so many a day, but yeah, you can use whichever ones. I thought you could keep these cantrips if you're not like a regular spell. No, I think you still have a, an amount per day, but I might be wrong. I, don't I know mean, this like this has the amount per day, but these yeah. do not. Maybe, I may, yeah, you know what? Maybe this. You, it means I can right. fix. I can fix things. So if we find like a broken key, I can fix yeah. the key. I could be useful. Mm-hmm. So what you thinking, Luke? What's that? I, I don't know what to take for my second spell. Um, second, second level. Oh. Suggestion is not bad mm-hmm. for utility wise. Um, it's a wisdom saving throw. Uh, the suggestion must be. You should just, of course, of activity. Uh, my wisdom, my wisdom lies only two. There, it's their wisdom. Oh, there. Oh, so, okay, so literally, all of this, I filled all of this yesterday with just just all kinds of everything that I could think of to write down. Like I spent like four hours yesterday just writing things. Like bouncing ideas off of Kelsey, then going back and rewriting things. I was gonna make your character yesterday, but you ended up sleeping until after I had passed out. I think I responded to you like once, and then I was like, I need sleep, and went like this. <laughs> you sent me like three messages. You're like, I've made a decision. 
I think I'm going to be a bard or a cleric. And then like an hour later, you're like, all right, fine, I'll just be a cleric. If you were a bard, oh, sorry, let me poke it. If you were a bard, you would have had to sing if you wanted to inspire people. That was going to be my role. I was going to make you sing something. <laughs> Big booty hose. Yeah, it's uh, I mean, it, 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 it's hard to. By the way, you only filled up like two pages. That's because my handwriting is so freaking huge that I don't. I didn't like. I don't I have any handwriting. Huh? I'd go with whatever you want. Suggestions, kind of nice. Nice. Ah, But no, you only get that. Like, you don't get to see anything. No hints. You can be like. Um, I was gonna be like, you tell, like no, look what I did, and then show you give all your horse to the next uh, beggar. One shot, shot. Just ready. and then they this would for eight hours guarded. have to do that. I locked my but car. But if they don't find a beggar in <laughs> that I eight hours, so they wouldn't do it. Steal my book. And the spell ends, and then they probably go. Why the fuck do they want to do that? I know, right? Hey, this is worth, well, this isn't worth a lot, because like I said, this is just a couple hours. This is just a one-shot. Like, I didn't, I if I make a full campaign, I'm going to devote even more time to it. Like, I mean, um, Cloud of Daggers is kind like of Like Matt now. Mercer, Matt Mercer, who you obviously the there with spinning daggers in a cube, five cool. feet on each side, thing. centered on a point you Matt choose Mercer spins range, eight to the ten hours. takes 44 <laughs> slashing like, damage when it enters campaign. the spell's hey, wait, area the for the first time on, uh, on a turn. is... We we're starts talking about other there. D&D groups. <laughs> we are the it does sound pretty nasty. It's like, most of what I'm a, doing, a five foot I made square of daggers. Shut up, stop talking about that person. Until we get sued for copyright. Until we get sued for copyright. Uh, I'm not claiming this as my own stuff. Which, by the way, that's beautiful. I had to rename, like, all of my characters, because I just, like, ripped, like, 20 World of Warcraft names and used them to name my characters. That's fun. I wouldn't recognize them. <laughs> but Nobody the people would. that listen to the podcast might. Uh, I'll, be like, I'll be like, oh, hey, Cinder Gosa, that's isn't that... Fun. That's part of the fun. Isn't that the World of Warcraft dragon? <laughs> why, why is she just a random NPC in the town of Singor? That's part of the fun. <laughs> because fuck you. There's one podcast I listen to where, uh... They name everything, uh, well, not everything, but they name uh, NPCs from the people who share the uh, podcast link on Twitter. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, so a lot of the characters are named after so. just random people. It's pretty cool. I love okay. that podcast. It's the first time they did a critical role to the charity, uh-huh. Matt said that if they get past a certain goal, he would let, no, that's not he would let chat. Completely make up a boss that Vox Machina would have to fight. And they made like a baby celestial whose power is elemental power. <laughs> like, it was so funny because like half the characters instantly, like they had to go down into a mine. And once uh-huh. they upset it, it started crying and then it just started like closing up earth on them. Yeah. I was just gonna say, you're in a mine. <laughs> yeah, it fighting literally... something with elemental control. Yeah, he no, literally was just like, like the first thing he does is he's like, wall of stone. Like, you're trapped in a rock thing, you have no oxygen, you're here, you are now considered suffocating. (laughs) And then wall of fire in the little room of stone. It was ridiculous. Your oxygen is now completely gone. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let's make a knife tab because I forgot something. Oh, that might be useful. Is that? I can blind or deaf something. There you go. It has to make a uh, constitution save. Mm-hmm. I can uh, make a duplication of myself. That would be perfect if I was like doing a chick and I wanted to pull a Houdini. <laughs> God. God damn it, Johnny. What about an Eiffel Tower? <laughs> All right. Or that? Yeah. So I'm, I'm just saying I'm going to use that real quick. Right. Are, you, are you almost ready, Jeff? Yeah, I got myself. If I have her mounted from behind and she sees the window... And all of a sudden, I appear at the window waving, and she's like, wait, what the fuck? Did you I mean, mirror image, I think there's tons of spells that you can fucking yeah. shit like that. If you really don't want to be with the bitch, press the dissertation, there's a knock on the door. Police, open up the window, the city guard. Oh, fuck, jump out the window. Ha, 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 That would be I'm, terrible. I'm a, little, I'm a little worried, because he has this whole, like, this whole write-up of villages. The last time I was in the game, where uh, the, the GM and then the person who was helping the GM, they spent probably uh, an entire week of every, almost every day, hours upon hours of building out this entire town that we were supposed to go through, investigate this stuff, ultimately end up in the old rickety mansion and find the evil thing and deal with it. Um, yeah. The party went to the town. We talked to one person and went, hey, there's an evil mansion. We're going to go there. 
at which point the GM looked at us and was like, but uh, you, you didn't talk to all these people. We're like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, but it's an evil mansion. That's where the evil is. We're going to go deal with it. That's why the people in the town are weird. And, like, the GM and the other dude looked at each other like, we fucking hate all of you so much. They had spent all of this time. Well, that's we their just, fault, though. We just circumvented the whole thing. All right. All right, guys. Ready, pizza. Like, one conversation. We were like, yeah. It's like I said before. You go into a village. People are disappearing. There's an old mine near it. Oh, we check out the mine. But don't you want... No. We know the evil's in the mine. No. Is there a graveyard? We go to the graveyard. But we're dealing with undead. There's a graveyard. The undead are coming from the graveyard. <laughs> we wait overnight and catch the lich or the warlock or the whatever. All right, he's down the pizza. Hey, pizza. Just take the one... Put the one piece on the... I yeah, mean... There you go. There you go. That'll work. That will work indeed. All right. All right, you got this. Go for the max. I have some room to roll. Mm-hmm. All right, Jake. You guys what ready? are we doing? We're ready. All right. So... Pick up two of you. Two of us. What is your character? Oh, yeah. Well, Orden. 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 You two Orden. both kind of yeah. casually. Orden. When you say it. You both no. received missives <laughs> from. Where Where were you guys? Like, where were you? Where, are you just travelers? Did you have a, a home? I have a, I have a room at the inn in the town that we're in. How about that? Okay, so you get a missive. You're in, you're in a town called Vasselheim. It's way up north. It's a central town of religion. It survived all of the countless conflicts, and it's well known for being the only city that has never been conquered. It has stood the test of time against all invading armies. It's Constantinople. Like the United States. So the fell. <laughs> yeah. There's... The uh, War of 1812. Yeah. The city <laughs> is mostly just divided up into... You know, sections based on religions. Almost all of the gods that aren't the betrayer gods are worshipped here in some way or another. Some with greater followings, some with few very choice followers, but very devout nonetheless. So it's you come out, you both received missives that interest you because they bear the seal of the Order of the Platinum Dragon. And you especially having never been religious. You're like, oh, great, what, what what, could these guys want from me? So out of sheer curiosity and boredom, you decide to go see what these religious assholes could want. That sounds like it's a little big. <laughs> you, being... Is money involved? You, you seeing, money involved? A, yeah. seeing a chance to, stab things? to play tricks on the those uptight religious assholes that are over at the Platinum Dragon are like, yeah, yeah, sure. So the two of you are both walking. You meet at the designated time, which is... 12 o'clock noon, because whatever. whatever. And then if you guys want to introduce, your, if you guys want to see each other, you both got the missive, say hi. Or are we just coming down a road where it, it intersected and yeah. we start walking yeah. each other? Yeah, you guys just, like, <laughs> cinematically, like, you walk and you just <clears throat> nod, turn. Big, big, giant, gleaming, fancy, pantsy gates. Do that awkward thing where you realize you're going the same goddamn place. Yeah. If someone you just wanted to be like, oh, that was cool. My character shakes your character's hand. Yeah. Yeah, you shake my hand. Yeah. You have slime on your hand. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? What is wrong with you? Giggles. Johnny, I'd like to pretend that you you actually, you're a human who thinks he's a changeling, so you rub slime all over yourself just to give people the idea. Um, he completely has no concept of what changelings actually are. Yeah. That's the best part. Uh, he, has no he thinks they're from fucking my what little are you, pony. What, what do you look like right now? Describe, to, describe what Zul sees, because you can make yourself look like whatever you want. You have to be human-esque. I look, I look very handsome. And you're like, I've seen this guy before, but you just don't know where. Okay. All right. All right. So, these big, big, giant, gleaming gold doors swing open. I mean, it's it's well known that the Platinum Dragon has one of the highest followings in Vasselheim. So, church tithes are very good. They can afford plenty of fancy stuff. So, can they afford to feed their people? Maybe. <laughs> um, so, you guys start walking, walking up the steps, walking up the steps, you come to the door, the main door of the building. I mean, and this is not quite Ace Ventura levels of steps, but there's a lot of steps. 
Dude, like, like steps. to the point where halfway through going up them, you just roll your eyes and just curse churches in general. You get to the top. I mean, the wind's blowing. It's cold. Like I said, it's it's the middle of winter up here. You get up to the top. And there's one one paladin standing at the door. You know, he's just, like, he's just here. chilling there in his pl- full plate armor. You know for a fact he can't be comfortable. Like, he's probably miserable. Whatever he did to get put on this job is just... It's not good. Right. He's, he's a trainee. He's yeah, like, he's... <laughs> yeah. Is it Luke? No, it's no, not. my character. No. Just... And he walks up, and he just looks at you wearily and says, Yes, can I help you? You show him the message? Yeah. Okay, he takes the message. Ah, of course. Okay. What is all... Uh, you're, you're, like... You're, like thing has like your slime has just caked it's frozen over so now half the letter just has like frozen slime on it and he's just like uh i assure oh, you it's oh, the right thing oh, oh okay and he just and door opens into just a massive long Do you great have hallway. your religious symbol is it visible at all? Can people tell what you're a uh, cleric of? No, he has too much slime on him. <laughs> so I'm asking, like, no, I, I look normal. So my my character, he's bald, right? Okay. Like shiny bald, got big white eyebrows. He's kind of muscular. <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, who is this guy? So this? is he just wearing common common clothes? They're white. Okay. And his shirt is like that's the one thing. <laughs> it's it's important. They're white. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, you uh, if you ever if he allows you to ever change form because changelings can turn into uh, one humanoid creature of the same size. Uh, perfect imitation of them. Um, He's a ditto. Whenever yeah, whenever they want. This um, is this is what your holy symbol looks like. By yeah. the way. So are you so, are you displaying that so they can wait, see wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. So he's <laughs> bald, right? Yeah. <laughs> white clothes, muscle tight shirt. Like he's he's really happy to see everybody. He's just smiling. Yeah. And then, so I'm looking around on the back of my head. You see that symbol? <laughs> Tattoo. Yeah. You see the symbol of the change bringer. Is the uh, the check here? Yeah. That's the that is the symbol you see on the back of his head. Why no, you have a symbol. You have a religious symbol, like an amulet or something like that, or a Bible or something like that. That's how you cast. He rubs the back of his head whenever he wants to cast. <laughs> I love it. that. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, when my talent's gonna rub it's the back of your head, it's a little bit of static. <laughs> if somebody else starts rubbing it, I might move it to somewhere else. <laughs> it's so yeah, yeah, rub it. Uh, yeah, put it on. You gotta rub, just rub the tush. Um, All right, yeah. so you guys, no. <laughs> that's not where you're gonna put it. <laughs> it's gonna <go> Jake, you well, shouldn't have expected. Oh, I do. It's it's great. This is everything I could hope for. Um, okay, so you guys both walk in. I mean, it, there's picture picture like a long hallway with like pillars on the sides holding up the building. It's like a long like okay, hundred feet it's a cathedral. large. We, yeah, we kind of know what a cathedral yeah. looks like. Okay, except it's just all gold. Okay. There's just like not all gold, but mostly gold. Yeah, not silver. No. No. The paladins were platinum armor, but that's it. That they spray painted platinum. Yeah, they make it look shiny. Mm-hmm. So you guys walk yeah, up. Platinum armor would actually not be a good idea. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it's it's in the it's, it's in know, the thing. But it, it realistically, was an older system, it's yeah. not a great idea. Yeah. Neither is gold armor though, and that's always in RPGs. No. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, it's not platinum. It's adamantine. Yeah, yeah, that's have an earring. Nice. He has an earring. Yeah. Okay. Well, you my go. character, he's you know he's got. He's just a, a standard elf. elf. He's got long black hair. He's got a braid on the left side of his face going down. <clears throat> he's, Mr. <laughs> he's Mr. Clean. He's Mr. Clean. I was thinking, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know that's, he's somebody. That's why you eyebrows. thought you recognized him from somewhere. <laughs> but where the fuck am I seeing I'm just wearing you know, the plain leather armor. armor. I got my weapon on He's the side. a changeling, but he can't turn into any, any anything beings that specific. exist in that world. He only turns into beings from our world. I, I would, yeah, I would like so to think randomly that, he's gonna look like Billy Mays. <laughs> no, I would the, like the, to the think Flex Seal he, guy. He, he looked, Lord. he looked at the box and and like appropriated what he wanted to change to into the form on the box, not the actual person. So it just looks just a little bit off. I, I like, to, I like to think of it that he Johnny does when he look sleeps, a little bit off. sees into our world. 
He sees into the into reality so that it only infomercials though. So he can turn it. One day, Johnny, Johnny, I have to show you so many, so many critical infomercials because that's just all I thought of. Exactly. All right. So I mean, you want to show Sham Wow one day? Yeah. Sham Wow. Oh my god. You're gonna love my nuts. You're gonna love my nuts. Okay. So you guys are walking down. Paladins running this way and that. Not all of them are in armor. Some of them are, you know, just running around doing whatever it is. You might that see a squire do. or two. Yeah, oh, probably. Like, like, yeah. like carrying stuff around. And... Yeah, yeah, like like more the focus on the more religious aspects as opposed to the combat aspects. And you know, you you walk down to the end, and at the end of the hallway where it splits off, there's just a giant, a giant like mosaic of the platinum dragon Bahamut. And standing in front of that, just looking through a book, Wait, looking... Bahamut's not the Platinum Dragon. Bahamut's a gold dragon. Bahamut is the... Well, there's no name for it. The Platinum Dragon's just their religion. Yeah, they don't actually worship Bahamut. I thought Bahamut was the Platinum Dragon. No. Oh, wait. No, yeah, you might be right. I'm sorry. This pl- it, he's Matt, platinum. I thought it was gold. No, Matt, I mean, Matt, Matt, Matt said Bahamut the remember. Platinum Dragon. It's the... Okay. There's, the no, name, there's no name in here because it's copyrighted. It just is the Order of the yeah. Platinum Dragon, so... And I could be wrong. I can't yeah. remember. I don't so, think Bahamut's copyrighted. So I don't Wizards, no, of Wizards, of the, Wizards of the Coast has some of them copyrighted and some of them. I don't think Bahamut can be copyrighted because it's, it's a religious It's thing. a folk. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It's Regardless, like it's why name. Tiamat and everything is well, I mean, why uh, I mean, that's yeah. why Iso can use it. Oh, if if yeah. it were a problem, I'm pretty sure Wizard of the Coast would have tried to sue, sue Squaresoft for right now. Yeah. For them yeah. using Bahamut. Yeah, probably. Well, it's why mo- the creatures in the Monster Manual. Manual. Like, just 99, come up with a name. I don't know, uh, 99 the dragon's name is Shenron. Them are available for anybody. No. <laughs> initially, initially it was, well, Matt called Bahamut the Black No, dragon, that so is kind of right. um, <laughs> I was just I mean, thinking in my just head, a big, I, can't, I, can't, yeah. I don't remember now if he's older. Yeah, I mean, this is, like a, this is like a 100 foot high, you know, mosaic. Like, it takes up, it takes up a whole wall, basically. Right. Um, and then, you guys see, standing at the base, in gleaming noble platinum armor, a super, super he's like, Tall, intimidating, grayish hair, big gray beard. Not poofy, big but... Big gray bushy beard. Looking very stressed. And you guys walk up and you get... This is the high exarch. Oh, okay. The guy that you've been told to see. The guy I've been told to shoot in the face, Jake? Go ahead. <laughs> no, it not. won't end well for you, I, I promise. I made, a, I made a whole encounter with him just in case one of you tries to be clever. That would be him. <laughs> so you don't have to make that as an encounter. That's the sort of thing where you just start rolling a d20 and declaring damage. <laughs> you take 45. Because he's being, ni- because he's being nice to you. He's just yeah. punching you. He's not, he doesn't even have his hammer. He's just holy he's punching like, you. He's like, I'm going to have fun. <laughs> yeah. What you didn't know you was said he's he intimidating. 18 yeah. levels of monk. <laughs> <laughs> right. One level paladin. Just, he just flips like uh, one, one little latch and all of his armor falls, falls off. off. And he's, like, and he's just fucking Roshi rip. <laughs> you should just make a master uh, Roshi. Oh, oh, that's my next character. There you oh go. god. So okay, so one of you guys come. Uh, I'll walk up to him. You know, introduce myself. You know, I'm Zul. You can call for us. There's Nessa. Oh, uh, yes. Ugh. I'll walk up to him too, and then when he sees me, he realizes he's looking into a mirror. <laughs> and I look just like him. He takes the. <laughs> <laughs> so Johnny looks like the, the guy now. I wanted to be canon in this world. The guy <laughs> that the... changelings are just known as being little dipshits <laughs> instead of like an Evron where changelings are hunted and murdered because yeah. they're. Yeah, they're he, he just. He, he knows the whole time. Like, he just. He looks. Pat, like we see. Oh, okay. I mean, you I'm, hired I'm, him. I'm glad you. I'm yeah. glad you showed up. And then he turns to you, and then he just like, okay. So that's what I looked like when I wasn't wearing plate every single no, day. No, he did. No, he just <laughs> he turns. And he's just like, God, I look old. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> a good man. He's like, it's like so. And then he turns to all his quest. What's your character's name? Um, Rogar. Rogar. All right. Rogar. Go, go fetch Rogar from wherever he is. Bring him down here. Turns to you. Okay, so we'll uh, give it a minute. I will. Uh, I have an offer for you guys. A mission from the Order of the Platinum Dragon. You will be compensated really well. We will wait till... Uh, I'm going to be sending a paladin of our order with you as we have personal interest in these matters, as I will explain when it gets here. So you guys, wait. What are you doing? 
Oh, when the squire comes God. to get you. He's masturbating. If it's early morning, I'm totally got to get one off. No, uh, he's probably just gotten done True with his spells. Ah! Oh, oh, God! Oh! Yeah. Master Roshi! I'm sorry! He's got that dra- it's, 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 if, you go to, if you go to Bad Dragon and find it's probably one of those. That's exactly what it looks like. He, uh, I looked that up. Why? Yes! I was you guys were talking would. about it last time. I like, mentioned it to Kelsey fuck? today, and she got really upset. She's like, No! I was like, oh, okay. She's got them hidden. <laughs> you she, them. You're gonna, fly, you're gonna fly like a twelve inch. She's gonna be purple Fucking with piercings. I'm gonna be like, hey man, I'm not even mad. <laughs> He's like, when are you gonna use it on me? No. <laughs> no. Kelsey, I oh, have man. an idea for this thing. All right. Oh god. So, whatever. I, I, I um, at the if, it's, uh, if it's morning, <laughs> he's probably uh, really it's after- mad that he hasn't been sent out on a mission yet. Well, so uh, you're just, you did say it was afternoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. afternoon. It's, it's about 11, 12 o'clock. Um, well, you said it was noon when we met. So let's say it takes us two hours to get to it, the stupid it would, thing. It would take. Two. Well, you guys met on the steps. So I'd say you it's guys. probably just finished um, 15, chow. 20 minutes. Shower? So 12 30. Finished chow. Oh, I thought you said Food. shower. No, no, I probably Lunch. just right. the uh, you chow. Just, so you've, you just, you've just eaten a big Headed huge... to the training yard. Yeah. You, you're, you're, as you step into the training yard and draw your weapon, like full, it's really. Decent food? It's yeah. it's it's really mediocre. Like it's about the most mediocre church food you've you've ever eaten. Oh, is this this is uh well I mean he's used um, to barracks food. So yeah. Nothing, yeah. So military Yeah, so show. you get ready and then as soon as as soon as you go to make your first swing on a training dummy. Rogar. 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 You hear. Master Rogar. <clears throat> yes. The Lord Exarch requires your presence in the main hall immediately. Finally. <laughs> All right. he, he he leads you, and then you you guys, Johnny probably like poops in fourteen different church things <laughs> while he's waiting. Um, I'm Zulu's patient. He's just he's just standing there. Yeah. All right, so there's there's like a dedicated older cleric who's just following him around with a stick. Like stop that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. On the the, while, while we're waiting, the high ex are just, eh. and then like a cleric just walks right up. And just watches everything you do. <laughs> like he he gets uncomfortably He's got close. That, like rope knot. <laughs> I'm, just that, kinda, I'm just kind of. I'm just kind of. just kind of looking. Like, he's got a he's got a ruler that's decaled with the platinum dragon on it. Like he's just ready. <laughs> I just kind of look I'm, at the ex. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know him. I just met him on my way here. You, well, dude, I mean, we're best friends. Well, hired him. <laughs> We've been we've known each other forever. Yeah, we've known we, him for fifteen minutes. Suddenly, you're yeah, in. we. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd like to say I've dealt with weirder, but I can't say that I have. If he poops in any of the pews, I've probably slaughtered to weird. It's okay. We that's what uh, that's what Theresa says, Florin. It's just like an old nun, just like. <laughs> All right. So about ten minutes pass. You know, because it's big freaking church. It's a then, military monastery, it sounds like. Yeah. And then if you, you know, the squire walks in and says, yep. Lord Rogar, while well, you walk in, if you want to describe to them what you look, what they see. Um, what are you? Are you a dwarf? Dragonborn. Are you a dwarf? Dragonborn. Oh, okay. No, no, Sorry. Dragonborn, not, not Skyrim Dragonborn. It's no, a I, race I'm of... obviously not. Yeah. Um, oh, a, right. It in sure. walks a dragon, essentially, on two feet. Okay. It's uh, it's kind of like imagine Argonian but bigger and cooler. Yeah, oh, no, um, I know. I totally. That's the first place I. Went. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, uh, actually uh, early Argonians were more dragon like than they are. Yeah. Um, so I mean, like they were they were taller. In fact, if you get closer to the hist, they get more lizard like. Yeah. This so. is this is more like that, except uh, uh, he's about eight feet tall. That's about how big they get. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They get about eight feet and, and like. More like the lizard flows from Legend of Zelda. Mm. Uh, yeah, except not or the Dino flows. Well, they're more, the Dino flows. They're like they're big, they're bulky, and big. Yeah. exactly. He's, and they got he's they can fight and breathe beefy. fire. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely big. big. Fucking axe. Um, he's wearing similar armor to them. Uh, it's got the platinum dragon symbol on it. Um, this armor is very obviously well taken care of, <clears throat> but beaten to shit. This is a career soldier. Right. That is just what he what he does is soldier. He, he beats shit down. Yeah, he's he finds the evil and smites it. A uh, big ass great sword on his back, long sword at his hip. What color are your scales? Uh, mine are. I said a gold dragon, so they're like a uh, a uh, they're like a golden sheen, like a a bronze, uh, except a little bit 
Uh, uh, the gold. Yeah, Goldish yeah. It, his scales kind of look like the gold that's all over the place, just like a little bit redder, a little mm-hmm. bit darker. You said bronze. I, I thought copperish. Yeah, it, I was actually originally going to go with a copper, mm-hmm. and then I decided to make him more of a, like, so my angry, angry character. More of a brass <laughs> character? Like a brass color? Brass uh, color? Well, that's brass a different type of dragon. Oh. So this uh, is, I, okay. like, he's, he's gold dragon is the lineage he has. Okay. So it's it's gold, but well, it's I'm not gold. it's not bright. Well, we're thinking, like, color. Brass is like a dull gold. Yeah. Brass color is like a dull gold. He could probably, yeah, yeah. since they, dragonborn don't, like, have to, they don't always look the color <laughs> of the dragon that their lineage is. Mm. So that's probably more accurate. Okay. So is this us meeting him? This yeah. is us meeting him. I walk up and I start shaking your hand, <laughs> Joe. I'm like, nice to meet you. My appearance now, I have green hair, pale skin, and I reply to you, if you're good at something, never do it for free. <laughs> I, I, just, I just I just, walk away from him. Yeah. And I go up and I introduce myself you, to Rogar. Rogar. Fuck him. But she tries to slap you with the ruler, but you dodge out of the way because <laughs> she rolled a five. I give her an advantage. She, she sneak attacked him. Yeah, true. That's get, a four. A four and a five. Stuck. Never mind. I get stuck and get absorbed into my body. It's been so not long. Not a fucking ooze. <laughs> She's used to beating squires, yeah. not not like you, who was just like ready for such discipline. I'm going to go get my comedy <laughs> stick. <Just> stop. <laughs> All right. I'm Gather sorry around. about him. He's a bit of an idiot. All right. There's no best right. friend. <laughs> I don't really know him. We literally just Rogar. met 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My entire life. You are. Orden. You have to order when you say it. Orden. Ari. Ari? Ordinary. Orden. Ari. Okay. Good to meet you, I think. Gracias. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. I the high accent. He, yes. he tried. The high accent tries to like suppress a chuckle at the hearing the name, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> ah! So, anyway, Rhaegar, yes. you will be leading a mission. Rogar. Rogar. Rhaegar. Rhaegar. Yeah. Rhaegar. Rhaegar. From League of Legends? <laughs> no. Rogar. No. Rogar. I don't know League of Legends. Ooh, League of Legends. Rogar is in any Nord <laughs> from Skyrim. I was looking at their names. I was like, these are really fucking Nord-ass names. And these Rayloff. are awesome. You should right. Rayloff. Rayloff of Riverwood. Loki or Aurora said, you know, get shot in the back of the face. Yes. Oh, what do you mean? Is it really hot in here? It's, it's just you, Johnny. It's, just Maybe it's, it's, probably, it's probably that. Probably that. Yeah. Yeah. Four loco, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can we get so, free, free endorsement? Oh, that would be awesome. Probably not. I'll get, I mean, we have like, it's like 35 listeners. They, they pay us in four loco and then we just die after the second episode. <laughs> All right. So, All right. so, all of you guys gather around. Your mission is as such. As you all know, which I'll explain to you because you, you guys don't watch. We Bowl, don't but know. Five, uh, ten years ago, four multi, four different colored dragons called the Chroma Conclave teamed together and formed an alliance and almost destroyed the entire continent. That's interesting. Cool. Yeah, led by led by a giant ancient red dragon who broke free of the elemental plane of fire. They caused so much widespread damage that the Platinum Sanctuary in the aftermath has formed a special group dedicated specifically to taming and controlling dragons. That sounds like a very not great idea. Yeah, they're, uh, it's not going well for them so far. But... It doesn't sound like it would. But... Cause dragons don't tend to, like, train taming. Yeah, yeah. The the, dragons, ca- the dragons are very woeful creatures. Yeah, I the casualties imagine. have been much higher than the successes. <laughs> but they are doing their absolute best to maintain at least watch on dragons, trying to stop any dragons from reaching such a size or teaming up. You know, they're they're just basically taking it upon themselves to go, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen again. I see. Mm-hmm. So... You guys all know the destruction the dragons of the Conclave caused. This is to you two, because you already know this. We have formed a special order to maintain and control the dragon folk. Any dragon that gets too big, even whelplings, doesn't really matter. Whelplings will monitor them. If they are not on our side or get to such a point where they threaten any of the life on Tal'Dorei, we are the first responders, and we will act accordingly. 
We have received rumors that there is some form of dragon in the elven city of Syngorn. I see. The elven high government, us not being elves and us being religious, refuse to look into the matter themselves. Oh, I see why I'm here. As such, you will all be sent there. <clears throat> you will lead a mission to go there, find any sort of dragon that may be in the area, and if necessary, exterminate it. We unfortunately sent... I don't know what... He's just... He's just Johnny, Johnny's fine. Yeah. I'm he, looking straight up, <laughs> looking at the detail of the cathedral. He's completely ignoring you at this point. No matter what, he's he's waved the he's waved Teresa away. Like it doesn't matter. Like nothing you do really matters to him right now. I'm like, yes, yes, send the cheerleader, save the world. We already sent we sent a young monk there to investigate and we have not heard back from her. I see. Her? Do you want any her. information on her? Yes, we would like to if you can find her. We all feel kind of bad because it, it was her first mission. We sent her out. She was a monk of the Kobold Soul who had just joined our order. You never actually met her because you were too busy, you know, doing your, your thing. It's it's just killing it's people. Her, her, so we do she is a... No. Yes. She is a... Monk. <laughs> she is a cheerleader monk. Same thing. No. We asked for the basic <laughs> description. Yeah. yeah. She is a... Is this, is, is she's this, a Genoshi. A is Genoshi. It, is this her character? Is this, yeah, Kelsey's character? Yeah, okay. yeah this is Kelsey's character. Genoshi, Luke, a Genoshi. I don't know. She's, well, a, wa- she's a water, basically a water monk. Like, she's, she hails from... Looks human? She's Katara. Here, I'll show you. Okay, I can probably pull up a quick book. Yeah. Pull, pull it up if you can. It's in the... Well, it's, it's in this book. <laughs> <laughs> in the next book? No, it's in Mercy. It's in it's in, it's in book. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Eskimo style. <laughs> yeah, she... Hoping we don't lose our balls. We, we sent her there. We, we didn't... We sent her there specifically with orders not to... Not to engage or to... Yeah, yeah look it up because I don't know. They're basically human sized with like reddish skin, or it would be like Genasi? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like a uh, human yeah. with red skin. Yeah. But hers was probably blue. Hers was blue. <laughs> she was a lot. She had uh, she had long white hair, blue eyes, kind of like watery colored skin, obviously. And we blue have elf. her. We we her her blue job elf? was only blue elf basically. A yeah. blue elf basically. So her, she looks like me, but she's blue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on. So if you if you find or hear any word from her, we would be very grateful. All right. We'll see what we can do. Her orders were specifically <coughs> to gather information and to not engage. Report back within a few days. She she did not report back at all. And the Elven High Queen has said that no no one by that name or description has entered the city that she's aware of. So. Hmm, I see. So, that said, that is, I'm assuming uh, we're sh- we should avoid a political scandal. Preferably, I have already sent ahead to the High Warden of Syngorn that I will be sending a team, and I will be giving you guys seals, kind of like how you guys had. If you guys want to use them, if you guys if you guys want to walk in all proud, then I'll give you seals. The seals will allow you entry to the city if you want to use them. Or you can try so to get in. Exactly welcoming. Yeah. It's to well you and he he points to you. You being full elvish blood, they will gladly welcome you in. You are not they will not like you. Not that it bothers you, but just don't go. A lot of people that don't just like don't me. go around killing civilians, please. I like I stay stay focused. Civilian. And you, you, you. I do, now look like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> All right. You do whatever it is that you do. Actually, ha- he's also good for this because he could just turn into an elf. Please Be don't kill people. That's all I ask. No, no, no I would never. Okay, do that. I. I, I received. Don't worry. Maybe I received a, killing innocence. <laughs> I'll be dealt with. I like I like I said. I like I, your style. Yeah. I received word that they I, that they were sending me a cleric of the change bringer, but you're really quite something. 
But that's okay. As long as you help, you'll be re- rewarded all the same. Fucking chaos. <clears throat> the reward for the completion of this mission, either finding and exterminating any dragon kin folk that may be in the elven city. So quick question about that. Uh, for setting wise. Sure. Okay, so is their whole drink. we're going to control dragon. Can you bring me one as well? Yeah, I got it those days. You can it. Perfect. Yeah. Check. Um, is that all or just chromatic dragons? What do you mean? Are they also going after metallic dragons? Oh, no. Okay. No. So it is. They, a, they, they're controlling evil dragons. Yeah. They're attempting okay. to control. Basically, the Chroma Conclave being four elder. Uh, four ancient dragons of red, green, blue, and black. Yeah. Those four colors are basically the primary hit. Like, if you find, say, a brass dragon. Well, brass dragon is uh, neutral, but yeah, yeah. yeah. If you find a, if you yeah. find a dragon yeah. that's not one of those four colors, yeah, find like find out its intentions. If it's a light, it's too much of a pussy to do anything. If it's, uh, did you say blue? Oh, yes, shit. blue. Okay. Blues are douchebags. If, if you guys want to, if you guys want to remember, bags. yeah, if you guys want to remember this, the dragon colors that are immediate threats and should be taken out are red, black, blue. And green. Liter- well, the easy way to remember it is if it's not metallic, <laughs> it's evil. Yeah. It, I mean, unless that's different in this setting, but... I mean, I, I, I'll i say for the purposes of this, just if it's anything other than one of those four colors, yeah. find out its intentions okay. and so tell it not, that it has to... they're not inherently evil necessarily. Yeah, and, like te- and, yeah and, okay. tell it, and tell it that it has to... And tell it that it has to yes. register itself and with the order. Yes. Yeah. Kill these dragons. Typically, you would do that anyway because they tend to be assholes. <clears throat> so. Um, so, okay. And the other question is, dragon kin. Like, they're dragonborn who are green dragons that are not. No. No, they're this, not even. No, this doesn't, doesn't include. Determine them. No, this doesn't include dragons. So you just. just when, dragons. It is just dragons. Just Not dragon kin. Well, yeah. Just, just okay. big I mean, kobolds tend wings. to be little douchebags as well. They are. So, you know, unless... Have a kobold. Yeah, static. Typically. Static. Static. I a mean, kobold, this setting... A kobold goes running across the... Static. 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 I mean, this, this setting, like my Roll setting, attack. kobolds aren't always... Uh, all right. 17. <laughs> Roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really we had exterminators for them, sir. <laughs> Eight. It's dead. All right. <laughs> did a, did a you just, you just like, like it comes running across, and without even breaking eye contact, you just... And it just goes right into the side of his head. There's two <laughs> fucking rookie paladins yeah. chasing it with long swords. Yeah. Oh, like, we almost had that <laughs> one. They <laughs> walk get, out dragging. Get that face. out of here. Clean it up. <laughs> like, Eugene. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Eugene, the oh, yeah, janitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got that guy. Don't, don't worry. I'll, I'll get it. My bad. My bad, guys. I don't want to get it. All right. My bad. Uh, Wait, yeah. where is it again? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm sorry. Where is it again? I, I don't remember. I need some the crash compactor. I and do now, myself, but it's closed. <laughs> somebody needs to open it. Can somebody, lock. Can, can somebody anyway. lock it? And now for the... <laughs> he's just like chuckling. <laughs> ah, I remember my adventuring days. <laughs> so, you specifically... Yes. Your reward is the great loyalty and service to our... To job. You, you'll get a promotion if you do Plus this correctly. finally get sent out of this fucking barracks. <laughs> Probably not, but maybe. Damn it. <laughs> So your your main goal is to find out what happened to our member. Yes. Like, you, that's something specifically that you will want to do for us because we want to give her a proper burial if we sent a young kobold soul monk to her death. Yeah. You two, the ones that have been hired, there will be 5,000 gold each. We believe that is far enough to cut, plus all expenses we will travel or we will pay to get you there. Hey, we would style. Yeah. Like, just mail me, just keep your receipts, and... <laughs> we, we'll reimburse you. <laughs> yeah, we'll reimburse you. Travel oh, travel expenses, like work expense, work-related expenses. <clears throat> no, no, no hookers and blow, Johnny. What? Yeah. It's work-related. <laughs> I need, I need yeah, it. I'm going to make sure that they're actually yeah. spending the gold. Yes. Please, please, yes. Keep, please keep an eye on that. Um, it's not a... I mean, it's a little minimal guy. Yeah. Oh damn it! I didn't know my father was All coming. Right, so on you, this so you will both, so you will both, you both will accept the job then. I will do your. Yes. I'll, do it. I'll get okay. in there. I'll find out what we can and. All right. Kill whatever. Well. Stab the tank. We 
We have. We have. Do dragons have taints? Yes. Okay. Large ones. <laughs> All right. We Depending have. Dragon size. That's true. We <laughs> have druids that are prepared to transport you there. You'll need to come out of here and go right down to the Temple of Melora. There's a big tree in the center, and they will use their transport via plant spell to open up a gate to a tree right outside Singor. So, make any preparations you need. Uh, what we can do give to, you... Do I need to prepare my spells, or my spells go? No, you can just pick your spells. I don't care about preparing. Cool. You, you just have them with them in the morning? You prepare them in the morning? Cool. I'm already prepared. Then. It's like noon. We have areas of interest within the city that we think might be useful. We can give you the areas that we think might be useful, or we can just... You guys can just do it your own way. Any information would be helpful. Okay. I, I agree with the draft. Okay. So. <clears throat> I don't care what you say. And you guys, and you guys will see this. <laughs> just to give you guys I a, like you. I'm going to give you guys... <laughs> not, well, you probably already know this being of Elven descent, you guys don't. So, just so you know, the city of Singorn shit. is ran by a High Wardeness, a queen, basically. What's her name? The High Warden. I know you, her. You have to. You have to be I'm like, sure you oh, do, Mr. Queen. Because I had a name for her, and then it's copyrighted, so I'm not going to use. So now she's just the High Warden. <laughs> um, it kind of branches down. She has three main wardens that take care of different things within the city. Okay. Oesta is one of is one of her wardens. Oesta. She is the voice of memory. Okay. Is her nickname, and she takes care of the libraries, all the history, like the the big thing, no, a big tall tower known as the Memory Ward, is right. where all Elven history is kept. Books, Dreamweavers are there to protect Elven lives. Elven knowledge is stored there, the whole nine. That's a place you could inquire. Maybe being of the Cobalt Soul, maybe maybe Young Puddle went there first. What's the name of the place? The Memory Ward. The Memory Ward. <clears throat> Luke needs to travel there. He get some help with his terrible memory. Luke, Luke needs to just burn everything to the ground. Yeah, okay. Well, I was going to write this stuff down, and then I wasn't paying attention. This That's is fair. not God. Did you get, did you get the name of the Memory Ward? You, no, the name of the High Warden of the Memory Ward? No, what is it? Oesta. O-U-E-S-T-A. Oesta. 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 Okay. <clears throat> the, her name is the Voice of Memory. Being that she's over the yes. memory works. Yeah. It adds it, but it makes, you know, that makes sense. Um, you can go and attempt to see the High Warden herself. I can send a seal to give you an audience. Although, to be honest, I'm not really sure. She hasn't been cooperative with us thus far, so we don't know if that'll be beneficial or not. But you could try if it's something you wanted to do. If you. Excuse me. You okay, buddy? Again, you're just on full block. He's not responding to you in any way, shape, or form. Well, I was asking Johnny, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you okay, um, buddy? Oh, yeah. In the okay. center, in the, in the center of Singorn has a huge lake in it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it is called Lake... Lake Lauga? Lake Yonalas. Yonalas? <laughs> Y W N N L A S because Elven names. <laughs> y W N N L A S. Yeah, N N L A S. I mean it. I don't know why I'm writing it down. I don't. I'm not going to be able to say it. All around is the business ward. That's all the commerce, all the business, all the trading. It all takes place in one big ward on the circle in the What's center the circle quote? of town, Singor. Okay. There's a very interesting place we don't we have no idea if it could be beneficial or not. It could very well be dangerous. There is on the far west side of town a mansion house that appears to be infested with fae. When Singor during the cause again you would know this, during the attacks of the Chroma Conclave, Singorn has Singorn has uh, threshold crests to teleport the entire city to the Feywild as a last act of self-preservation. And as the dragons were tearing their way across, burning everything, they teleported the city to the Feywild. They and said, then when they fuck your shit, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, and then when they came back, as a result, a small tear was left open, and now yeah. 
the mansion is infested with Faye. Faye gonna do what Faye gonna do. Yeah, they've, they've tried many times to get them all out. Um, the, the Faye, you know how they are. So the, dra- the dragons threaten the elves as well. Hmm? The dragon conclave threatened the elves yeah. as well. Yeah, the four dragons spread out, and each one attacked a major city. And then just started like rampaging all around the continent. So, in, did any of the elves uh, like assist in stopping yes. them? Okay. Yes. So they didn't the just Va- Vox Machina sent Vex and Vax, two young elven warriors, of they were uh, their they father. They sent two warriors. Well, the whole all of Vox Machina went there, but since Vex and Vax were son and daughter of one of the important people in government. Okay. They sent... They, Vox Machina being a military... Yeah, Vox Machina mm-hmm. is... They're, they're the heroes from Legend that defeated the Chroma Conclave. Oh, okay. But, I mean, they had armies fighting the, com- the dragons, right? Yeah. Um, Fought, yeah. I, I, they, were the, they were the PCs. Yes. Um, yeah, they were the PCs of asking, Critical Role. Yeah. Is, yeah. But they, they, I'm assuming they had they armies. Had, Arm, okay. They went around to gather, like, to all their different allies all over the map, to the right. Ashari, to the Elves, to, That's you know, saying. anyone okay. left. Thing, up they to, sent help. Yeah. yeah. They went to so, their allies. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. So That's they sent a small like, contingent to okay. help. They sent maybe 20,000 soldiers from their whole city, yeah. and the rest elves of them stayed. Yeah. Okay. So you could investigate the Fagrove Manor. I don't know... Like I said, I don't know what help it may be, but Faye have eyes and ears in a lot of places, so maybe they'll know if something's going on. And you you're, you have a symbol, you have a brand for the clasp somewhere on your body. Is it visible? A what? A you, should have, you probably should have told me this before we came um, in. Well, you have a symbol that marks you as a member of the clasp. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> I'm just going to say... It's on, that, the, it's on the back of my left hand. Yeah. So, boom, right And he, he looks at, you know, he looks over... Okay, 5 plus 20, because he's a level 20 paladin. Yeah, he sees the mark on your hand. Okay. And he, he says, it's not a large contingent of that organization in Singorn, as the elves mostly hunt them and exterminate them whenever they try to enter. But you could attempt to look for... He said exterminate, though. That's rough. Yeah. That's a thief skill, I'm assuming. Well, the, the cla- yeah, the clasp is a, is okay. a well-known thief skill. Okay. During, during <laughs> when the giant red dragon Thordak destroyed Amon, the thieves guild rose in prominence because the clasp were, were the ones who saved the most people. They took oh. in the most people. They stole resources from the dragon to help keep the, the remaining they populace did what, alive. They did what the thieves and criminals usually do. They get the love of the people, the common yeah, folk. Exactly. And so like, they, it's everyone like knows Lord's everyone knows of the, the class. City. Yeah, everyone knows like, of the class. Well, so, supporting exactly. the entirety of whatever fucking country he's from. Yeah. I don't uh, like uh, like the Thieves Guild in uh, uh, you know, Elder Scrolls, their information comes from beggars. Yeah. So if you know of any way to make contact with them, they, they also have eyes and ears pretty I'm much sure everywhere. I, I'm sure I would have a way, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, you would be able to probably sneak around at night and find sh- shadow some shady, shady people and well, be like... Yeah, well, because you know how <clears throat> the, the whole Thieves' Camp thing was in there? There'll be marks written on the wall. Well, I guess, like I just said, shadow marks. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow marks are like you know, so, little symbols you use that. under like the badge of like, under like the lock of the door or something mm-hmm. to indicate, hey, this is a safe haven for yeah. dumbasses like you. Mm-hmm. And, okay. And I would avoid... The the tallest part of the city is called the Emerald Citadel. I would just avoid... I would just not go there. Not go there. Just don't go there. It's it's a very, 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 like, important place to them. So you you can't get in without the Queen's permission, without the High Warden's permission. So I would just avoid it all again. And then they have barracks, obviously, that you can check out. Mm Mm-hmm. And then the last thing for you Dumbass. specifically is I'm looking at you, Joe. Is there is a portion of Singorn that is devoted to seclusion and isolation called the Reverie Walks. If you go into the labyrinth, odds are good you might not come back out. Uh, most elves go in there. 
purposely choosing to spend hundreds of years in isolation and meditation. So if you want to go in there, sounds like an elf thing to do. You you be my guest. But if you are never seen from again, hey, I don't have to pay you. So. <laughs> and that's pretty much do it. Do they have Minotaur in there? Huh? Do they have Minotaur in there? Oh, dude. Hey, yeah, we can Kong. get the minute. You don't know our guy. Yeah. <laughs> Donkey Kong travel. That's exactly what you do if you're ever caught in a maze in D and D. You find the Minotaur and make him get to and you out. They automatically. And, 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 and Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze in the background, the underwater level. There's a Metroid. Nice. <laughs> the little baby Metroid. All right. A little thing in the All center. Right. So green and pink. Donkey Kong's world is going to be uh, wiped out. Yep. Because those and things last, are fucking indestructible. And last but not least. Yeah couple miles away from the town in the woods on the outskirts <clears throat> there used to there is an old temple that used to be for the worship of our deity the elves have bullied us out claiming that the land is theirs so it has fallen into ruin and disrepair we grabbed what we could there might be some stuff there that you could use if potentially you want to go for it but we don't know what we left there and with the vaults that would have anything special in there, we know them to be guarded. So, by. So, yeah, so what are they guarded by? Back in the day, we used traps and sentinels. Sentinels, so good. Fantastic. So, that's all we know. When you guys are ready to go, let me know. We will head over to... Head over to the... Emerald Citadel. No, that's the place where we don't want to go. We're heading to the temple of... I don't remember. <laughs> My character is staring at the Emerald Citadel. <laughs> I turn around and look at you guys, and you realize I look like Legolas. You're not You're not staring at the Emerald Citadel because it's on the other side of the there. continent. <laughs> oh. I thought you said it was you're up north. north. Singorn is, like, way down. <laughs> oh, this is good. Then I just go to the bar. <laughs> yes. I can actually show you if you want. This is a map of Tal'Dorei. In its entirety. Okay. Oh, it's one continent, not a, yeah. not a world. Okay. It's, okay. Yeah. So we're all the way up at. Where are we at? You're down by the cliff, the Stone Keep Mountains. Well, right. Oh, I Vassal, I Vasselheim north. is like way up north. Oh, well, like Hohenheim. Hohenheim. I don't know. Hodor. I forget exactly where Vasselheim <laughs> is. I know, I know it's way up north, though. Oh, man. That was so, such a sad scene. Um, I know you guys were, are going to be going down here. Okay. It's. I mean, you guys will. I'll give you a, a bit more of a description when we get there. I mean, we don't need it too in depth. I get what you're saying. Well, the only the only important thing to note is that the city is nestled up against an entire chain of mountains. The city's placed here on purpose specifically to protect it from, you know, to give Anything. it easier to defend from three sides. Okay, so you guys have been given all your information. Find our monk. Bring her back if you can. Mm-hmm. Kill dragons. Find don't out get for any. Don't get Evidence of dragons. You don't write it.